All right, this is Jonathan, again, with Best in Class Detailing, servicing all of LA County, Orange County, and the Inland Empire. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my detailing setup rig. All right, Jonathan, so first question is, the van, how long have you had it? I purchased it in July this year. What made you wanna get a van? My wife was telling me that she needed her car back because I started it in her vehicle, which was a RAV4. I was there too when I started uploading everything into the vehicle, downloading everything out of the vehicle into the uh, client's driveway. I don't wanna say it was a mess everywhere, but there was just equipment and gear everywhere. It was just a hassle. It was very tedious having to walk back and forth to the RAV4, getting the equipment in and out. I thought about it. I had a Lexus. It was making me spend a lot more money. So I decided to let it go. I traded that in and I ended up getting this Mercedes Metris. Did it hurt when you let go of your Lexus? It did and it didn't, but it gave me motivation to move on and work with this so that way I can get a better car than a Lexus or possibly my dream car. All right, man. So now let's talk about the inside. All right. Where did you go? The inside I got done custom made at H2O in Covina. Now for detailers who don't have a rig, what do you ask to get this type of setup? Or do they say, hey, we got these two options. How does it work? Oh, so when you go over there, uh, there's a gentleman named Santiago. He will take down your ideas and he'll help you out and help you plan out what you want and put your ideas in your setup. And what did you tell them? I mean, they do have a standard setup for every different model. So the model that I have is the Metris. The setup that I have here, which was the uh, automatic Cox reels. Some people can provide their own reels uh, because these are, or they were pretty expensive. Uh, if you can't afford these, that's fine. But if you have your own reels, you can go ahead and let them uh, work with it and they'll install them for you. I'm gonna be honest. It looks like a simple setup, but it looks really nice. What equipment do you have right here in the back? So again, as mentioned earlier, I have the Cox reels, the electrical, the air, the water, and the vacuum hose. I believe they're all 50 foot hoses. And here I have the electrical pressure washer, the Crangelo. And then from there, I have the EcoFlow Delta Pro electrical generator, but this is just my display here. The actual main generator is in the middle. I guess we'll go to that in a second. So that basically tells me how many days I got, how much percentage I have left as far as juice. I can go ahead and control it from back here. I could turn on the power. I could turn on the AC here. Now, talk about the doors, man. I see you have a lot of chemicals. Basically, I don't want to say I use them on a daily basis, but again, you don't know what you're going to run into really. So I just want to carry what I think I might need. Also, you might get a last minute detail. You don't know what you're going to run into. So I have some um, Car Pro. I have mo co mostly Coach Chemi uh, 3D. I have a uh, Stoner. I'm not sure if I said Gion already, but I also have some Gion stuff. And now you mentioned that size exterior correct so the way this was set up i want all my exteriors to the left hand side the exterior is on the left side because when i'm filling up my buckets with water all my chemicals for those buckets are already right here i don't have to be walking back on that side filling up the buckets and putting them back over there from here i could just go ahead reach from it here fill it up put it back right here so this is all my exterior and that's my interior all right jonathan what do you have over here man looking real nice so right here i have my craftsman toolbox Pretty much has the basic stuff that I need. Pretty much some tools, some batteries, interior, exterior stuff, some clamps. Right here, some more um, clay bars, clay mitts, tape, polishing tape, my drills. This here, all my polishing pads. You don't know which pads you're gonna need, so I have them all. And then my polishers right here. And then what else? I have all my um, different types of rags here. I have wash mitts there. Ceramic coatings there. I have the extension cords here. And on top here, I have my chargers for all the little tools that I need to charge, that need to be charged. Interior brushes, miscellaneous container. This is my ozonizer, the air ozonizer. Is that how you say it? For people who have uh, a bad smell in their interior that they want out. I can't guarantee that it'll come out, but I can guarantee I can get most of it out. Again, there's some extra drying towels, some 
bug gut sponges, some tire dressing applicators, Max Shine, Ultra Plush wheel microfiber wash pad, Ninja pads, some more stoner products. Gotta keep the mosquitoes off me. And then my water tank, my vacuum aid, again, my EcoFlow, the heart of the details, the generator, electrical generator. And then I also have the rigid compressor. Why are you so organized, Jonathan? Like super organized. Is it just for a camera or is this how you are? No, people who know me will know that I'm pretty OCD. Uh, I gotta stay organized because I think that's something that I learned in the military when I was in the army for eight years. All right, so also starting back here, I also have this gorilla ladder is what it's called because you know, all the Asians, that detail are pretty short. So I need this. And then I also have a knee pad. And then back here I have my Delta Pro solar panels to charge on the go or at a client's house when the sun is out. Now with that generator, that's the first time I've ever seen anybody use it. Electric? Correct. How many things can it power up? So right now I've tested it out. It can power the steamer that I have, the electric pressure washer, the vacuum made, as well as the Mighty 8070. At the same time? I haven't turned them on at all at the same time, but the 8070, the heater is on. The power washer, when I'm power washing, that's on obviously. I haven't turned on the vacuum with it on, but it works with everything else that I have going. I haven't ran out of juice as far as like added detail. A lot of people ask me, well, how many washes can you get out of it? Well, it, that's a hard question because we don't know what kind of detail or washes you're doing and what kind of power you're pulling from the appliances or tools that you are currently using on your setup. So I really can't answer that, let alone anybody who else has an EcoFlow. Does it last you all day? If it's charged at 100 in the morning, will it be at zero at night if you have a lot of details? If I have a lot of details, well, first and foremost, way is I don't usually have a lot of details. I have maybe two or three max. And at the end of that, those days, I won't be at zero. I'll probably be at one or two hours left. At 100%, it'll say I have five to six days of power. Again, that's gonna change as soon as you press that, that trigger on the power washer, it's starting, it's starting to pull juice. So now that changes dramatically. And then all your other tools that's plugged into it. Why did you choose to go that route instead of the traditional, oh, which one is it, the red one? The gas, the Predators or the Champions. So I do have a Champion, I didn't use it. I've never really used it. I have it just for backup if this one goes out. The only reason why I chose this is because there, there was another detail out there that started using it and that sparked my interest. So I did some more research and I thought about it. Don't get me wrong, the price tag is very expensive. It starts off at around $27 to $3,000. That doesn't include all the little bells and whistles that you see that I had, as far as the display in the back and the solar power panels. It's because California, I heard that they're gonna do away with gas generators. So why bother with the hassle and just go ahead and start with something brand new. Even though it's new to the game, uh, I might as well just try it out and see if it works for me. A lot of detailers are gonna say, well, that's $3,000. I'd rather use it on chemicals or other stuff. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to be without your gas generator. Plus, I'm, I don't want my van to, or any vehicle to smell like gas. I'm not trying to wake up the neighbors having to pull that generator rope and making all kinds of noise in the morning, regardless if it's an inverter or not, it's still at the end of the day, a gas generator. Accidents do occur. What if you spill your gas inside your vehicle? It's gonna stink. Imagine if you smoke, you spill gas, and then there goes your whole setting setup rig. I just like it because it's quiet and it works for me and what I need it for. All right, guys, so that is my detailing setup. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you need a detail, I service all of LA County, Orange County, and the IE. All my information will be down below. And if you wanna see more detailing content, please like and subscribe.